Hello, Mac and Cabby here. Just dropped off on a beautiful little place called uh, Armouth Way. So I'll let you have a look. There we go. Nice little village. Blue sky everywhere. Lovely. Right. So, I put a post up yesterday um, about Patterson possibly going to um, <coughs> Celtic. <coughs> some of the um, <coughs> some of the comments here. Users going, <coughs> excuse me, a bit about Fleming here. I think Pato is class, but if a really good offer, I doubt Celtic could pay what we want, as no way we should sell unless it's a huge offer. But we have young Matty Young who was tipped for the top. Need an experienced keeper alongside him though if he does go. Absolutely. Um, Saul says transfer market have Patterson worth a ten million pound. He would be a very good signing for Celtic, but I don't know if they'd match the valuation the club wants. Um, a decent bid is worth considering as long as your KLD says Chris Gore. Um, just races high cabby KLD needs to find fifty million to buy five quality experienced players to strengthen the squad, and if he doesn't then Patterson going would mean no striker and no goalkeeper means next season we played 46 um, oh and then he's he's not put anything there um, next season played oh 46 I don't know that's it's don't know what's happened with that comment um, Peter says I love your channel keep it up from Guernsey thank you a lot Peter um, Saul again says possible replacements if Patterson leaves. Lee Nichols from Huddersfield, experienced and reliant keeper. James Beadle from Brighton had a great loan spell on, at Sheffield Wednesday this season, only 19 years old, so fits the model. <laughs> and Michael Cooper from Plymouth Argyle, good recent keeper, only 24 years, 24 years old, fits the model too. Stephen Jones says Patterson is a good keeper, but not a great one. For a decent fee, let him go as long as we have a replacement. So there we go. Some saying he's worth a go. He's worth uh, to keep him or get shot. So then I'm just going to have a bit crack on today. Um, about Nasri Rusin. Is it worth pulling all the stops to trying to keep him at Sunland? Because he's saying that he wants to wear. Or under the right model. We'll get right signings. It's a potentially a really, really good player there. I think there's little glimpses that he's a cracking player. But I think he needs a, he needs a good run out, doesn't he? He needs a good run out on the side. You know, I mean, last season, let's face it, I don't think he got a fair crack of the whip. He was, he was on for a sub quite late on. And of course, he, he got injured and that. Um, for me, he's one of them players where be good if we kept him but I don't think I'd miss him if he went you know what I mean it took a while getting him here clearance this and clearance that but be interesting what you guys think in the uh, in the comments so that's me I'm 50 50 either way I mean you know he scored that goal against Middlesbrough I know it was a maybe he's a bit lucky did it I can't remember exactly the deflection or he sort of mishit hit it or something but there's something there, but is there enough to keep them? So I'll be interested to let you know in your comments below. Um, and also, I phoned up um, Total Sport and BBC Radio Newcastle yesterday, and um, my cat made a very special appearance. It's hilarious. I'll put it up later on. Give it a listen. So there we go. Let us know in your comments what you think. Is it worth keeping Holder Roosin? Is it a little gem there? Or it won't be missed. Let him go if he wants to go back, especially if he's having a problem with the language barrier. Okay, enjoy the sun, folks. We'll see you later. Ta-da.